Today we're making flash powder. I can't believe it, dude. I've been looking for you for literally like years, man. Flash G. All right, so we already made flash paper a few weeks ago. If you didn't see the video where we made flash paper, you should definitely go check that out. It's, uh, well, it was a super fun time. It worked really well. So today we're gonna make flash powder instead. Now this is a very simple mixture of sulfur and zinc powder. We're gonna try that out, mixing them together in about a three to one ratio of zinc to, to sulfur. Uh, having a lot of zinc in there with just a little bit of sulfur should actually cause it to burn pretty quick. your flash pot so to speak just a little tin container that's got some of the powder in it Dan I put a fuse going into the side of it so we should be able to get a nice little reaction Dan I still have some of the black powder that we made you remember that go check that video out uh, we might actually compare this with the uh, oh, this awesome stuff we made today <laughs> All right, so that's not bad, but I have an idea that just might make it a little bit more exciting. Now, in order for something to burn, it requires three different things. We've gotta have a fuel, uh, we've gotta have some type of ignition source, whether that be a spark or another flame or something, and we have to have oxygen. Oxygen, of course, the air we breathe, uh, it's very important for our health and our life, really. Uh, but oxygen is very important for fire as well. So if we have enough oxygen, then we get fire to burn sufficiently. But if there's more oxygen, then we can make that fire happen even quicker. So the more oxygen that's available for the flame, the faster it will burn. So in theory, if we add more oxygen to our mixture, we should get a quicker reaction. If we add a little potassium chlorate, uh, this thing might just take off like a rocket. Well, not really like a rocket, but Hey, it should flash a lot quicker, I think. Fingers crossed. I don't know, we'll see.
Now we're gonna try the black powder, just for comparison. There you go, I think that was a pretty successful attempt at making flash powder. However, I know that there are some other things that we can do to actually get better results. There are some different types of flash powders that we can make, and I think I've got some of the right ingredients to do a couple different ones, so we'll probably definitely have to make another flash powder video in the near future. Obviously, I mean, it's just another reason to play with fire. I love doing that. <laughs> all right so there we go i hope you guys enjoyed that i know i had a ton of fun making that one absolutely a blast well not really a blast more more like a flash anyway i hope you liked it and if you did make sure you hit that like button down there help me out just a little bit make sure you hit that subscribe button as well i make some really crazy science videos every monday so hitting that subscribe button you'll know what's going on each and every week plus i've got some other videos that i want to work on just you know some other things a little different from the normal sciencey burning blowing up stuff that anyway they're a little bit different and i think that you'll enjoy them but you know it's going to be some different things so they'll come out on days other than mondays so be watching for that in the very near future all right so really that's just about all i've got for today other than you know clicking the obligatory link to go check out some cool science pirate gear you know get yourself a t-shirt or a coffee mug or something cool uh much appreciated but other than that, I'm going to go work on some other things for, uh, you know, the future. And we're going to do some awesome and epic things, so uh, definitely want to stick around for that. Make sure you're subscribed, and aside from that, I'll catch you guys next time.